you've managed to fit your stepper motors. Now what I've done is I've run one on one side and one on the inside. So as the wiring will be clear from the center. So you've put the frame together, put your stepper motors on. Now it's time to go get yourself a cool drink of cola, soft drink, in an aluminium can because you'll be needing that in the next series. So we'll just take a break and we'll talk about the bearings. You've seen with the push rods how to check those bearings. Also you need to check the other bearings. These bearings are the ones for the belt idler up the top. So just screw it in for nut, screw, nip it up, hold on to the wash, hold on the bearing and just push the screw and it should be firm. These are pretty good. So check all those. These are the bearings for the spool, the reel holder, and the reel runs around on it. Again, put a screw in, nip them up, and try to rock it. You find they are solid. However, these are the only washers that come in the kit. And it looks like you're supposed to put a washer on each face. But the trouble is, because this is a rubber seal, when you nip it up, it does not turn. This turns. I do not rotate. The rubber is sitting proud of the centre Four. So, another problem, you need to use a smaller outside diameter washer that will just clear the inner thread, the inner diameter. You get, that's very difficult, that drags, so you don't want that. So there's another problem, so you have to buy yourself some washers to suit that. Now we come to the second most important bearings. The most important are for your push rods, and I showed you how to check that. So with these, again, screw in. But the first thing you notice, the supplied screws Are loose. Half a millimetre loose. So you may say, oh well, what's the big deal there? Well the big deal there, that's the screws there. And why they are the most important bearings is that they fit on the vertical carriage and they slide up the groove. Now the trouble is to get the position of your, your rods they don't need to move sideways. So this will actually move that way. So you can have carriages half a mil that way, the other carriage half a mil the other way. Now you've got a one mil error, error introduced just because of the bearings. When I come to the vertical carriage, I'll show you the fix for that. And the next problem, when you go to test them, you find they are loose. If you want to check them properly, grip them in a vise and then your fingers won't move and you can put a dial indicator or unmeasure it. So all these are loose. Not only on the thread, but this way. Reason why they're loose is because these are El Cheapos and they used in the shower for the shower doors when you open and close the shower. That type of thing. So the problem there is because the bearing is actually loose, even when you tighten it down, 
as a carriage can travel up it can twist and with the carriage tightening apparatus it isn't that tight now can you see there's a big gap in there to start with there's not much more I can tighten that and a lot of that is just the bearings moving on themselves to check if it's tight enough you can just rub your fingers on there and they should not turn they will turn if you push them tight so that's tight enough so that carriage movement is all down to the slop in the bearings they are as good as they get the quality of the print you're going to do the accuracy as you can see is starting to diminish from perfect it's slowly going down the scale as you build the printer enjoy your collar keep the can because you'll be needing it when we move on to these so check your bearings in more ways than one and if you can find a supplier of high quality ones it will be better if you use metal bearings they will soon wear against the aluminium so you, you need a plastic coating but I'll show you how to overcome one problem with them later